Imagine a scene straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, the Sahara Desert, the largest, hottest desert on Earth, is about to face an unimaginable disaster, and it's happening right now. This September, something happened in the Sahara that no one saw coming. An event so rare, so unbelievable, it left scientists and locals alike scrambling for answers. What could possibly turn one of the driest places on Earth into a watery wasteland? The Sahara, flooded. Yes, you heard that right. For the first time in 50 years, it rained so heavily that parts of the Sahara turned into lakes. Vast stretches of golden dunes? Gone. Replaced by shimmering pools of water. And this wasn't just a little rain. Oh no, it was more than an entire year's worth of rain, in just two days. Can you picture it? A desert that hasn't seen significant rainfall in decades, suddenly flooded. Water pooling in places where there's never been water in living memory. It's a transformation no one could have predicted. So, how did this happen? Was it a freak accident, or is this a sign of something much bigger? Something that could change our world forever? To understand this shocking event, we need to go back to September, to a storm that nobody saw coming. Dark clouds gathered over the Sahara, but this wasn't just any storm. This was a perfect storm, an extratropical cyclone that formed way over the Atlantic Ocean, far away from where you'd normally expect a desert to be affected. This storm didn't just bring rain, it brought a wave of moisture from deep in the tropical jungles of Africa, and guess where it went? Straight into the heart of the Sahara. The storm was so powerful that it pushed right into the desert, bringing the kind of rain the Sahara hasn't seen in generations. And the results? Staggering. In just 48 hours, some parts of the Sahara experienced nearly 8 inches of rain, 8. That's four times more than what a town like Aridia, in Morocco, usually gets in a whole month of September. How is this even possible? What caused this once-in-a-lifetime weather event? Was it just a fluke, or is something much more alarming happening to our planet? Experts have never seen anything like this. The storm formed so unusually far south that it dragged tropical moisture into the desert. But that's not all. The Sahara's unique geography, with the Atlas Mountains towering nearby, made the storm even more powerful. The mountains acted like a giant ramp, pushing the moisture higher into the sky and turning a regular storm into a massive flood. And the result? The desert became a giant, temporary floodplain. Incredible, right? Could this extreme weather be a glimpse into our future? What happens when deserts flood, when lands that have been dry for centuries suddenly turn into lakes? Is it a warning that climate change is causing unpredictable shifts in the world's weather? Scientists are racing to figure this out, and they know this might just be the beginning of a new, more unpredictable world. But what if this is just one piece of a much larger puzzle? So, what do you think? Can the Sahara Desert flood again? Will more places around the world face similar changes? Or is this just a freak event that won't happen again? Whatever happens next, one thing's for sure, it's a wake-up call. And the question is, are we ready for what's coming? The Sahara Desert, known for its endless stretches of dry, golden sand. But what if I told you that in September, something unbelievable happened here? Something so shocking that it left scientists scratching their heads. In just 48 hours, this desert saw more rain than it had in the past five years. And it wasn't just a little shower, it was a massive deluge, transforming this dry, barren land into a temporary lake. But how did this happen? The event was so extreme, so unexpected, that it's forcing experts to rethink everything they thought they knew about the Sahara and our planet's changing climate. The September deluge in the Sahara wasn't just an unusual event, it's rewriting the rulebook for weather in this region. You see, the Sahara has always been one of the driest places on Earth, where rainfall is almost non-existent in the summer months. But in a stunning twist, everything changed. In some areas, rainfall in just one day was more than the total rainfall from the past five years combined. This isn't just a fluke, this challenges everything we thought we knew about the Sahara's weather patterns. The timing and intensity of this rainfall have meteorologists scrambling to understand what's going on. Could this be a sign of a bigger problem, global climate change? The data collected from this event could give scientists deeper insight into how our planet's atmosphere is shifting and what that might mean for the future. But the most surprising part of this flood isn't just the rain, it's the transformation of the Sahara itself. The desert town of Muga, famous for its towering sand dunes, suddenly had lakes where there was once only dry sand. Water reflected palm trees, creating breathtaking images, a desert landscape, suddenly alive. But the most astonishing change happened in Morocco's largest national park, where a dry lake bed, that hadn't seen water in over 50 years, came back to life. What does this mean? Well, thanks to NASA's satellites, scientists can see just how vast the change was. Large patches of water appeared where there was once only sand. 
This transformation gives researchers a chance to study how water behaves in one of the driest places on Earth. Here's the thing. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara wasn't always a desert. Believe it or not, this region was once home to huge bodies of water, lakes and rivers, with thriving ecosystems. The flooding in September has given scientists a rare opportunity to study what life in the Sahara might have looked like long ago. Could this flood be a clue to what the Sahara was like in the past? And could it even give us hints about how the desert might change in the future? This event might be temporary, but it opens the door to a whole new world of possibilities. But wait, there's more. The sudden appearance of water has brought life back to the Sahara in ways no one could have expected. Plants that have been dormant for years, even centuries, have started to grow again. Seeds that have been waiting for this moment have burst to life, creating patches of green in one of the most arid places on Earth. For animals and plants that have adapted to the harsh conditions of the desert, this is a rare and incredible moment. The Sahara, which usually looks lifeless, is now showing signs of new growth, bringing back the promise of life where it was once thought impossible. So, what does this all mean? Is this a sign of things to come? Could the Sahara, once thought of as a timeless, dry wasteland, become a place of unexpected change? The flood of September is a wake-up call, a glimpse into how our world is shifting. Scientists are now racing to understand these changes, but one thing is clear, the Earth's climate is no longer predictable. And as the Sahara has shown us, even the driest places can be forever changed. What do you think? Could deserts flood again? The Sahara Desert, the driest, hottest place on Earth. It's a land where sand stretches endlessly, and rain is almost a myth. But in September, something happened here that no one could have predicted. A massive flood, one that shook scientists to their core. Imagine the Sahara transforming into a vast, temporary lake, in just 48 hours. The desert, which hasn't seen such rainfall in decades, suddenly became a different world. But what does this mean? Could this be a sign of something bigger? And it wasn't just the land that was transformed. Life returned. Plants that hadn't been seen in decades started growing again, and with them, wildlife began to flourish. Birds, especially waterfowl, unexpectedly migrated through the Sahara, stopping at the new lakes. Species that would never normally come this far suddenly found themselves in a place they'd never dreamed of. Even tiny microorganisms, which had been dormant in the desert soil for years, woke up with the rain. These little creatures play a huge role in keeping ecosystems alive, and their revival could change the entire desert's future. It's like the Sahara, usually so harsh, is showing us its hidden side, its incredible ability to bounce back. But with this surprising change comes a harsh reality. In Morocco, the flood brought devastation. Roads were washed away, homes destroyed, and over 18 lives were lost. The damage was overwhelming, and it made everyday life even harder for people already struggling after last year's earthquake. For the people living here, the flood is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, the sudden presence of water gives them a chance to try new ways of farming, ways that could actually improve their crops in a land that's usually always dry. But on the other hand, it raises tough questions about how we're prepared for these extreme events. Can we predict when nature will turn against us like this? What does all of this mean for our future? This flood is just one piece of a larger, worrying puzzle. Climate change is already changing the way the world works, and this event could be a sign that extreme weather, like massive floods, could become more common. The Sahara, usually a land of endless drought, has now experienced over 38,000 heavy rainstorms in the last two decades. Experts are saying that as global temperatures rise, the atmosphere can hold more moisture. That means we might see more storms like this one, and they could hit deserts like the Sahara, which are not built to handle such extreme weather. The question is, can deserts adapt to these new challenges? Can humans living in these regions survive floods just as they have survived droughts? You might think the Sahara has always been this way, but you'd be wrong. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara was a much wetter place, a land of lakes, rivers, and grasslands. Imagine ancient humans living there, thriving in a place that was once green and full of life. Today, researchers are studying how the Sahara transformed from a green Sahara to the desert we know now. The recent flood reminds us how quickly the landscape can change, and how much it's still changing. The data gathered from this flooding could help scientists predict what might happen in the future. The flooding in the Sahara is a wake-up call, a reminder that our world is changing. If the desert can flood, so can other places. We need to be ready for anything. Communities living in desert regions, where both floods and droughts are possible, must learn to adapt. Will they be able to prepare for future events like this? And we all have to ask ourselves, could these extreme weather patterns be the new normal? Will the Sahara, once an endless stretch of sand, become a place of unpredictability, where anything can happen? What do you think? Is the Sahara really changing? 
and could other deserts face the same fate? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on how our world is changing.